Radha and Rajiv came to me to design their house. They have four children, and also Radha's mom lives here, um, and they're all under one roof together. Radha wanted a lot of color. She wanted this marriage of sophistication with a very bold color palette and a ton of pattern, but done in a way that felt thoughtful and not like a jumble of stuff together. So we really had to play with a lot to achieve that. They have no TV on the main floor. That's a decision that they made as a family. And so when you enter the house, you walk right into their living room. And it was a very long, almost awkwardly shaped space. So we really had to play with our space planning. Pretty much everything in this space is custom. We designed, I would say, almost all the pieces, definitely all the upholstered pieces in the space, which was an amazing thing to be able to do because we got exactly what we wanted. Something that felt livable, yet bold, and extremely designed, but in this effortless way. The ottoman was something we felt we could go really big on, especially because we wanted seating underneath it all the way around, and it had a really cool pattern on it as well. It's interesting, normally we choose rugs last, and in this case, it's one of the only times in 10 years I've chosen a rug first. It is a handmade, beautiful piece from India, and it just spoke to me for Rada. Like it just felt like this house. And ultimately the entire scheme of the whole main floor was designed around this rug. The dining room needed to function as a place for the whole family to sit. They're a family of six. So if they have one other family over for dinner, they automatically need a table for at least 10, right? So that made sense for them in their lives. And then we needed to do something that felt really cool. So we designed the table. We did an inlay of terrazzo, which is a really beautiful organic material with a lot of movement. And then we found these insane pendant lights that were the perfect pieces to go over top of the table. And we did two because the table was so long that one just felt off balanced. We needed to anchor this wall somehow. The sconces we loved and just a fabulous piece of art just finished off the whole space beautifully. The front room with the blue wallpaper is their homework space, and they wanted a space for their children that felt not an intimidating workspace. Like sometimes if you have a big grown-up desk with big chairs, kids don't wanna hang out in there. So we designed this amazing table with inlaid wood and did fabulous floor cushions in different patterns that feels really inviting for the kids, but also a great spot for them to get their homework done. That powder room. Will House and Home published that. That pattern room is beyond. It's like all the colors and patterns that we were trying to achieve everywhere just kind of come together in this really beautiful way. It was a real trust me moment, but they did trust us and it's just epic. That master, we showed Rada the fabric for the custom upholstered wall that we did and she kind of looked at me like I was insane. We wanted it to feel like an antique rug, but on her wall. And we actually toyed with like how we do this until we found this fabric. And it just felt like perfect when we found it. It's a massive space and we needed a lot to fill it. We wanted to do this really cool little seating area. So we had this beautiful curved piece made in this like Dongya insane fabric and mohair and it was so beautiful and we get it here and it doesn't fit in the house. So we literally had to crane it up the side of the house and into the bedroom through the doors. Worth every moment of the ulcer that I got from doing that. And Jelly wanted a princess room, period, the end. She has three brothers and she really wanted her room to feel special. We were fighting a little bit with the size of the room. It's not massive. So we sort of played with this single four poster bed and you know, a fabulous chair, great rugs, great wallpaper, and I think really made it special. She's little now, but this is definitely a room that she can grow into. 
When we're doing a bunch of kids' rooms in one house, we all want to make sure that they feel different. You know, that each kid has their own individual room. And for some reason, we decided to start with yellow stripes on the ceiling. And then we played with a bunch of different textures. He's really into art. So we had this huge roll of paper mounted on the wall so he can be constantly, you know, doodling and doing things that feel creative. This is again, a mix and match moment where we did two different wallpapers that are totally different that maybe if you hold them up side by side, you don't really get why they go together. But in my brain, they go together. Creshawn is the eldest of all four kids and therefore got the bedroom upstairs in the converted attic. And he wanted what felt like a real kind of like big boy room. He was on that cusp between like tween and teen and, and something that felt youthful, but that he could also really grow into. So we actually took pre-made shelves and had them powder coated with this gray ombre. So we went from dark to light. We did a fabulous mud cloth wallpaper. It felt really masculine to us, but didn't feel too sophisticated for a kid's room. We did the chairs from CB2 and a really great kind of sicily feeling rug. So it's all these sort of natural elements all together, but in a really muted color tone. In grandma's room, we wanted to play with the color purple. It's her favorite. So we used this almost like raw silk grass cloth on the walls, which was interesting because it reminded us of like a silk sari. So it was sort of like a fun play on that in a more modern way, I guess and we did that gorgeous eggplant chair and sort of all the colors really blend together and she ended up being really happy with it and we were so happy about that. The basement was this story of, again, how do we do a kid-focused space with tons of color but make it feel uber chic? And so that iconic Schumacher zebra print was sort of our starting point. I love that paper so much and it will never, ever, ever go out of style. And then playing with these different jewel tones as well, kept it feeling sophisticated, but also extremely colorful. When you're designing a space that's for your kids, you need to consider your kids. What we did was we went with four ottomans. So they are four pieces that when put together, make one giant ottoman so you can push them up and it's like a big bed for all the kids. But you can also pull them apart. So if they're playing video games, they can sit on them. They can move them to the side. It's sort of one of those really practical, cool design ideas. Outdoor spaces, especially in COVID, have become a very popular wish list item for us because people really do want to utilize every inch of not only inside, but outside. I don't love using too much color outside because outside you really have so many natural elements in play and you want to highlight them. But we decided just playing with a few bold toss cushions was enough to be reminiscent of what's going on inside the house. It's amazing to be able to be so creative and have it supported by your client. And then not only that, but be able to work for someone like Rada, who has truly become my friend. And she was really like, I'm gonna hand you over my house. And it's a big deal, right? Like these are people's homes and do your thing. You know, it was like that level of trust right from the beginning. So I'm really proud of this house. And what makes me happy is being here a year after we completed and everything looks the same and the family's still so happy.